Hi everyone, I'm Rob Ladd. Thanks for tuning in to Driving with Stash, presented by Social Insomnia. Today we're going to talk about driving a convertible. And despite what you may have heard, it's not just about rolling around in your own personal party on wheels. And people often ask me, Rob, is there anything better than cruising with the top down, hair blowing in the wind, while rocking a beard-mustache combo? And I tell them, yes, doing all of that with a bandana. misconception with convertibles is that it's all fun and games, but I can assure you there's a certain amount of responsibility that comes with it. Sure, convertibles do hold some astounding advantages over normal cars, and yeah, I am taking in a healthy amount of vitamin D and switching lanes with no blind spots. But these open airwaves also make you an ambassador to the average person on the streets. So the next time you see somebody taking a walk, riding a bike, or even driving another convertible, don't hesitate to say hello. You're probably wondering why you would wave to a complete stranger. The answer is simple. It improves the image of convertibles and their drivers. Plus, everyone likes being recognized, even by someone they've never seen before. It's the same reason the police never pull us over. Now, not everyone's going to be looking for your wave, so when needed, a slight honk of the horn comes in handy. Whether you do it for goodwill or just good humor, remember, you're fulfilling your convertible driver's duty as a public servant. From the drop top for Social Insomnia, I'm Rob Ladd. And you ain't.